I just want to spend a couple minutes talking about my thoughts, my takeaway on this whole Devin Ford drama. I do want to start off by saying this is not like an in-depth news article about everything going on. Um, this is just kind of my thoughts on what, how I've seen this CrossFit community handle this situation. And spoiler alert, I don't think it was very good. Um, but I think there's a few reasons for that. So if you don't know who Devin Ford is and you don't know what the situation is, um, he's a guy who plays pretty well in the open. So well, in fact, that CrossFit HQ asked for video one and video three of his submissions. This isn't anything crazy. It's not like they were singling him out. They asked this from everyone. After reviewing his video, CrossFit decided to dock a major penalty on his handstand push-ups because in the video he sent, he only did 40 handstand push-ups and not 50. Now, he did send them a video where he did 50 and he only finished the workout 20 seconds later, but they still counted the original score as his official score and they docked over a minute off from that workout for him. But it didn't take him out of the top 20. That was a hard workout that not a lot of people finished. So the fact that he even had a finished time, even with that penalty, didn't affect him that much. Whereas a lot of people got affected on 19.1 with the wall balls and everyone finished that workout. So that one definitely had a bigger toll, especially on the women who had knocked out like six people from the top 20, top 20. So where I do understand there being outrage on Devin Ford, it is in his quality of movements. Those are not good quality movements. Those are not the type of movements that you would want to see in your gym. You wouldn't want to see your members doing it. You wouldn't want to see your coach teaching it. They were bad. They were cutting. Um, I do concede that Devin Ford's form is pretty bad. And not just his form, but the way that he is willing to just kind of cut reps short, like especially on the lunge and the handstand walk and one of the other workouts, you start looking at them and you think, man, this is bad. Because with the new format, the new way that the open brings you directly to the games, these low quality reps that would not pass in a regionals format or in a competition format on the online open, no one really knows as long as your judge is still giving it to you, that would give you a ticket to the games, thus taking away someone who deserves it. So I do understand being angry at the quality of reps that Devin was putting out there and saying that he did as prescribed when he, when he wasn't, when they weren't. What I don't understand, and this could be completely me, and I could be completely wrong about this, I don't really follow athletes from other sports. Like, I'm not following Kobe, I'm not following LeBron, I'm not following um, Tom Brady on Instagram. So I don't know what these people are commenting and how they talk to other people within their sport, but I do think that people calling him out, he's just a guy who does CrossFit who's gone to regionals a couple times. He's been doing CrossFit for like 11 years. So for all these top level athletes who are professional athletes, paid to do the sport they love, when they go onto his page and they start bashing him in public, all that does is cause a frenzy among everyone else in the community to start bashing him. He is a guy who completed some bad reps, got docked for it, got exposed in front of everyone. He's already feeling like, oh crap, this sucks. But then to have all these games athletes to go on and to publicly bash him so that everyone else in the community thinks it's okay to publicly bash him, I think that's where it got a little crazy. And I think that's when there was some blood in the water and everyone just started bashing and hating and going on this guy and I don't think that he deserves that much hate I think that there's a lot of frustration within the professional CrossFit community because they lost regionals uh, everything is in the air everything is so confusing some people have made it some people haven't some people are really trying some people's position stands on how someone else does and there's a lot of frustration and there's a lot of anger and then when this guy comes up using the open as a way to make it to the games they just unleashed the wrath of all the frustration, all the anger on this dude. Now, if he accepted his ticket to the games, that would be a totally different thing. I would get it, that would suck. Like, like I would be like, come on dude, you look at your reps, you know that's not true. But he didn't accept his ticket to the games. Like, he declined it. And I think a lot of it was the pressure of the community, which is good, but I didn't have to be in the way that it happened. It didn't have to be with that kind of like, let's kill this dude mindset. And I understand that most people don't care. And that's fine, that's fair, like I get that. Like, 
Who, I don't know who Devin Ford is. And Devin Ford, the way he performs, does not affect me one bit. But there is that .0001% that he did affect, right? Like, by him being in the top 20, um, that would make someone else not in the top 20. So I understand the frustration there of those top athletes, but again, there could have been a different way to handle it. But for everyone else who was freaking out about it, every, you know, the people who were in 16,000th place and 280,000th place and they were being frustrated at this guy at the top, I think a lot of people, I don't know, I thought it was very interesting. Now, I'm not saying what he did was right, and I'm not saying that what he did was okay, and I'm not saying that the way that CrossFit penalized him on those workouts, but totally ignored the other ones where he didn't even cut the reps, and, and obviously there needs to be a change if the open is gonna be a direct way to the games. There needs to be a change in the judging standards and maybe the way that people are judged during the open. I don't know. This is not a video trying to solve that, but I do just wanna say that, like, I do want to say that we are not defined by our actions, we are defined by our reactions. And if our immediate reaction was to kill this dude, there's something there, like, there's something that isn't... And there's something so gratifying about putting someone else up so that everyone can point their finger at and make fun of and mock. But when that starts happening, and when there's blood in the water, and when things start getting frenzy, like, in every situation. Like, take a step back. Think about this person's perspective, and Devin actually did post a video where he kind of told his story. And I think a lot of it was like, okay, I understand that, and, and, some, and then there was parts where I was like, okay, come on, dude, like, really? You have to accept responsibility for the fact that you didn't look at any of your videos. But when the, when the water starts getting frenzied, when people start getting crazy, take a step back. Don't allow yourself to get kind of stuck in that frenzy and that crazy because you're going to end up saying things, you're going to end up doing things that you regret. I don't know. Those are just my thoughts. Again, they're not, I'm literally just spitballing right here to the camera to you guys, but how do you guys feel about the situation? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. What are your thoughts on Devin Ford and the whole situation? gonna come over. <laughs> you can't do that. Again, there's so much into it. Um, I think, I think it was really stupid that he put in a video with him missing 10 reps, right? So that's obvious. Um, I think that there was a lot of people that wanted somebody to blame, and that was the person to blame. I think if he would have just saw the I guess, like, if you want to call it error in his ways, if he would have just, like, withdrew his invitation right away, there wouldn't have been such a big deal. Um, but I, I don't know. Like, I don't want to say I feel bad for the dude, but it, getting that much backlash for something, what, like, I don't know. It's hard. It's, like, easy to want to just be like, that guy's a bad guy. I hate that guy, and everything he's ever done is bad. But I think that's a little too cut and dry. I don't think it's that simple.